Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with a devotion entitled, Change Your Perspective. Change Your Perspective. Matthew 6, 31 says, So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? So do not worry, it says. You know, no matter what happens in life, try to keep things in perspective. When you don't, you end up viewing minor problems as major ones. Or you do the opposite, treating significant situations as no big deal. Either tendency or foolishness or all foolishing or minimizing leads to problems. So do your best to see things as they really are and don't let them get blown out of proportion. Develop the habit of looking at the big picture when things happen. Why did it happen? Why did God allow it to happen? Uh, why, why it suddenly happen in our lives? Look at the things, develop the big picture instead of dwelling on the one issue that is upsetting, upsetting you. Thinking excessively about your problems makes them appear larger, bigger than they really are in life. When you run up against, when you run up against a situation that upsets you, deal with the panic before you try to deal with the problem. Deal with the panic before you try dealing with the problem in life. Sit down quietly. This is what you do. Sit down quietly. Calm yourself and take time to purposefully recall the good things you enjoy also. The truth is, worry never goes away. When you resolve one issue, another one is waiting to take its place. It is a fact of life. You can't change it. Problem will come, you can't change it. So what should you do? Change your perspective. Change the way you look at things. Change the way you face things, face situation. Instead of focusing on your worries, factor God into the equation of your worries, of your struggles, of a challenging situation, of your difficulties. Has he ever failed you in the past? No, he and he never will. Amen. He, he will never fail you and I. The grace of God has sustained and brought you through the last worrisome situation. The past few weeks, the past few months, the past few years will be with you and in this one and the next one also. Notice what God said and or Jesus said about the things we worry over most in Matthew chapter 6 verses 31 to 33. Listen to what he says. Do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Amen. Seek Him first. And you know what? When you learn to change the perspective and look at God rather than your problem, he has never failed you, neither will he fail today. He has been faithful all this year. He will also be faithful today. He has came, come true in your life in the past. He will come true for you today. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray to help us to change our perspective, to focus, first of all, on you, and on the big picture of what you are doing and why you're allowing us to go through this. It's for our own good and for the better tomorrow. Strengthen and bless every one of us. Learn us to help us to cultivate a right and good perspective and uh, about things and the situation that we face when we look through the eyes of God. Bless every one of us with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day. See you again on Sunday.